Are you kidding me? What an incredible view. What an incredible view. I guarantee that I'm gonna hear that every single time a new client walks into this home. My name is John Shane Heider, president and owner of Regency Builders. Welcome to our Houston model. You enter in, you see this beautiful La Cantina door system. The whole thing opens up to be 16 foot wide open air space. Just an incredible view out the back. The great room is a 12 foot tall ceiling detailed by crown moldings, wood floors, beautiful fireplace, just an amazing room. Dining rooms to our left. First thing you do when you walk in after looking at the incredible view is see our spectacular dining room followed by the butler pantry with all the gourmet cabinets and the accessories for entertaining. To our right is our library. It's where you can get some peace and solitude and catch up on your daily emails and activities. Dining room is loaded with detail, crown molding, trade ceilings, the dens, phenomenal, all stained woodwork. And one of the things that I think that you want to take notice if you are looking at building a home is the use of painted and the use of stained woodwork. As you look in the den, you see your eye will stop at the window because it captures the stained casing. As you walk in and you see this beautiful lock cantina door system, or you look out our wonderful dining room windows, your eye goes through the window to see the nature beyond. You are gonna absolutely love our Houston model. As you know, the heart of every home is the kitchen. And this Houston model has a killer kitchen. You walk in, yeah, you're going to see the incredible views. You're going to see the phenomenal center island that if this was my home, I know when I had my salsa party with all my friends and we put salsas out on the table and we we're drinking a margarita and conversing together, there's plenty of space for us to work and enjoy. There's a butler pantry back to the back. I'm a little claustrophobic. I don't like it when people are bump bumping into me as I'm making them a refreshment. So I can head back there real easy, refresh drinks. You have some phenomenal appliances. We're a big supporter of Wolf, big supporter of Sub-Zero. These convection ovens actually work in such a way that you can be cooking enchiladas on one level and your brownies on another, and it doesn't cross transfer any food odors, and you can cook them at the same time. You have a tremendous warming drawer. The microwave is pretty interesting in the fact that the trend now is to stick the microwave in the center island. Reason being, first off, kids can reach in there. You don't have to worry about getting scalded. And it takes it off of the beautiful opportunity to display your tile, backsplashes, and you know, just look at these fantastic cabinets. You guys, this is an amazing home some of the best of the best of technology. We put a Savant system in here, which computer operates really everything in the home. So you wanna pop up a quick recipe for the night, you pop up a recipe. You wanna change the tunes, you hit a button, you change the tunes. You can do it with your iPhone. You can be downstairs watching TV, have the door ring, door ring and see who's at your front door. Amazing, I know you're gonna love this kitchen. It's the heart of the home. We start with the heart of our home in every one of our designs. After this, you jump into the hearth room in the dinette. Nice quiet space. Another trend in architecture is to have your intimate family spaces right off of the kitchen and your formal great room separated from it so at night you can converse with your loved ones. You walk out from the hearth room into the patio and the deck, look at the conservancy beyond and have a phenomenal, cool, unbelievable La Cantina door system that opens to the outside. Wait till you see it. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, this La Cantina door system is something that's really pretty special. I'm going to uh, just unlock a few of the handles that are coming through here. Basically all you have to do, unlock the handles, push and start to slide and you open up your world to the outside. Can you imagine walking into this home and thinking about all the entertaining opportunities that you can do with it. The cool thing about the La Cantina door system, it's German engineering, very, very secure, great product. One of the things that we prefer to do when we install this system is wait until the customer gets in, find out really how their screen needs need to be. We can either install a screen on the front, front soffit of this deck overhang, so your screen would be right here, 
Or we certainly can add a decorative treatment to drop the screen down here. Your world is your oyster. That's a great oyster. Some people have master bedrooms. This is a master retreat. You come in, you got a gorgeous view looking out at the lake. You got an incredible sitting room where you can read your paper and drink your morning coffee. Two split walk-in closets, one with a window. So you can tell your blues from your black. You walk through here into your master bathroom. Really cool tile. It's got a great hexagon shape. You look at the honed stone on the countertop. This dynamite walk-in shower with multiple shower heads. And what is really unique about this home, you'll see that we have cabinet doors that will open up into the laundry room with all your dirty clothes bins so you can divide and sort your clothes right away and never have dirty clothes in your closet again. I, for one, having the guy with all the clothes in my closet, love that idea because I get a little more room back. You guys, this really is an awesome master retreat. Crown molding, great attention to detail. Once again, as your builder is picky as you, look at these cut lines, look at that miter joint, look at that drywall seam. It's straight, it's perfect, it's true. That's what you deserve. I'm standing in the mudroom of our beautiful Houston model for a few reasons. First off, it's spacious. Mom and dad come in, the kids are always in front of them. They're always waiting to get into the, into the mudroom out of the cold. This gives you plenty of room to get the kids in, take off jackets and kind of get organized for the day. Secondly, one of the parts that we decided to design with future potential homes that like this plan is generational housing. This has the ability to add a complete another master suite that you could access off of the garage if mom and dad came into town for an extended stay or live with you. Generational housing is a big thing. It's coming into play a lot in our designs. We have multiple designs that bring in two master suites on our first floor. Regency has been incredibly blessed to build for so many cultures and so many different beliefs. We have a temple just down the street that houses one of the largest Hindu populations in the Wisconsin area. Many of our customers want to follow a custom called Vastu Strasha. Vastu Strasha is the aspect of bringing God and all the elements into their home. We love the opportunity to share and to learn and to become experts in Vastu Strasha. If you visit my website, it's really interesting. There's a lot of cool features at regencybuildersinc.com on Vastu Strasha. This is the garage behind me. Can you imagine how convenient it will be when you're bringing in multiple packages from whatever you're doing from the day and you have the ability to walk in, drop stuff off to the lower level, or hit the kitchen with whatever grocery surprise that you have. We're walking downstairs to a really awesome finished lower level. You come down, you can see the exercise room and the spare bedroom off to the back in a fully exposed lower level. And you walk into the entertaining space here with an incredible movie theater, a great view at the bar, great view at what will be the billiards area, and really tall ceilings. My favorite ceiling height in a lower level is an 11 foot pour. What that does for you is you're looking out the back at your vista view on the exposed lower level. You don't see the underside of the deck. You can do your beautiful eight foot doors with the transoms above. This was a nine foot pour. You gotta figure you're gonna lose about one foot four in ceiling height for duct work. So as you're contemplating a home, for sure think of nine as a minimum. Contemplate 10 or 11 if you have the exposure to do so. Walking back to our bar, we did something a little different. Uh, we have more open communication here and it allows you to set your appetizers out. And like we did upstairs, it allows you to congregate as a group here. I personally think this design of the bar, instead of it having it wrapped around completely and closed off, is a kind of new concept that I believe should take off. It's gonna save you a little money in cabinet cost, it's gonna save you a little money in tile, but you still can use the space. It's terrific, you'll love it. Regency is a very blessed business. Regency's a giver. Philanthropic causes have been really one of the mainstays of the family business for years. Started uh, 
probably eight, nine years ago, in the Margie Tacton event, in which we raised in one night $325,000 for the research facility for Children's Hospital. We're so lucky that we have this independent research facility and a tremendous care facility in our own backyard. Please come to the parade. Give us two bucks, four bucks, whatever's in your heart. Help us raise some money for the cause. Today, I will announce that Regency is pledging $5,000 minimum. We're also giving $2 for every Facebook like on our campaign. As of yesterday, we had 62 Facebook hits. So right now, 5,000 plus the 124 is our starting total. I can't wait to see where this goes. Thank you for caring and thank you for donating.